Hey guys, it's uh, it's been a while. So as you see, I have um, a different controller here, different compared to uh, my old one. So on this one, I didn't have LEDs on this originally, and I didn't. I wanted to do, try some um, software controlled LEDs this time around. So as you can see, uh, we have LEDs installed. I just finished installing this. We have uh, blue and red. And the way this works, right? So instead of it just completing a circuit, um, there's now a bit of code. Uh, let's see right here, where we have LED pinouts, so that uh, eventually, whenever you get to work on it, um, we'll have a hardware HID uh, LEDs. So that'll be cool. So this uses um, everything on this side of the Pro Micro, because previously, let me see. Previously, we had everything from 21 to 16 unused, and that's just enough for uh, seven LEDs. So, um, yeah, what you do is that, like in the previous video, remember, the longer leg is positive on an LED, the shorter leg is negative. So what you do is that um, these are 100 ohm resistors. Uh, previously, I used 220, and I thought they were a little bit too dim. So this time around, I went with a lower value. So this, this resistor uh, connects there to the positive lead. So if you see right here, it's kind of hard to see because it's so cramped, but uh, the LED, positive light comes out, resistor, and then you solder a wire, and this wire will go to one of the pins here. And then, um, for the other side, the negative or ground, what you can do is that, for me, I just tacked in a wire and went all the way around all the switches again. But what you can also do is that you can directly take the leg from one LED and solder it to the negative side or the ground side of your switch as well. So that way you can um, reduce your wiring if you want. So uh, wiring is a bit messy, but it looks like uh, it'll close up. So yeah, let me, I guess uh, I'll show you the LEDs plugged in. Just give me a sec while I figure out this tripod. All right, so go ahead and plug it in. Make sure I'm not clicking anything. And I don't know if you can tell, but these are definitely quite a bit brighter than before. Never seen these on with keycaps, so that's a bit exciting. Let's lower the light here. Pretty neat. So um, once you finish doing all the hardware, you'll need to uh, update the software, just grab the latest version, configure it if you need to, and then flash it. And uh, yeah, that's about it.